use it, but it's a little different. Uh, it's casting and sending content from your computer, your mobile device, and sometimes from the internet uh, to your television screen. Um, and so you can sit down and if you're all set to do it, you can either send that straight to your TV or if you have a smart TV, you may not even need uh, to cast this from your phone. You can just look at it right on the TV. So what you will need though is, and most of us have this today, right? Home internet service with Wi-Fi. I don't think anybody would be able to be here this morning if they didn't have that. Um, at least have the, uh, the home internet service, but the Wi-Fi helps. Or a smart T and a smart TV or a smart device attached to the TV. And that's the latter is what we've got here. And it's a smart device like this. So let's talk about smart TVs first. Um, these newer TVs, and I think for the most part, that's what you get now when you go to uh, Best Buy or even order on Amazon. It's smart TVs that uh, they're selling and they come down in price quite a bit. Uh, but these are TVs that are actually connected to the internet through your home network. And that means you can access all of the apps and services that are available on the internet, like Netflix, like Amazon for that matter. <clears throat> um, and if you're not sure if your TV is a smart TV, it's really easy to find out. Uh, take your remote and try pressing the home or the menu button on the remote. And when that pops up, if you see logos for YouTube and Netflix, Amazon Prime or Prime Video uh, and other things that you also can find on your computer or your smartphone, if it's an app, anything like that, then you have a smart TV. So you are in really good shape to do this and, and you're all set to go and I'll walk through how to do that. Um, with those smart TVs, the apps can be downloaded uh, to your, um, yeah, it, you can download some apps to your mobile device and cast to the TV, but you can also go on the internet and download some of these apps on your own, um, right onto your TV. So essentially your TV is operating just like your smartphone would, and you can download an app, uh, like a streaming app, uh, or another app where you are storing photos right to your TV. Uh, many smart TVs now come with the apps uh, already installed in them. And TV manufacturers have also rolled out their own apps for casting your photos and video to the to the set. So if you don't have a smart TV, never fear, you can still do this. This is what my wife and I are doing. Uh, in the back of your TV, and the TVs have had these HDMI ports for quite a while now. Our TV is about 15 years old, and it was one of the early HD TVs. Uh, but in the back, it has an HDMI port. Uh, it has a couple of HDMI ports. In fact, this is the back of our TV set. And in what I, we can do and what we have done in there is plug in a streaming device. <clears throat> and these are small devices. Uh, sometimes they look just like a thumb drive. Other times they take a little different shape, uh, depending on the product. But these are small devices that plug right into that HDMI, one of those HDMI ports. And they're designed primarily for streaming movies and TV shows from Netflix or, uh, or Amazon. Some of them stay pretty proprietary, um, like Apple TV is one of them. And um, that is, I think, about the only way you can watch any of Apple TV's 
shows and movies that they have on their platform uh, is if you have an Apple TV device. But um, with these- you What can, about Amazon? Same thing with uh, Amazon, Fire yeah, Stick? Yeah, I think, I think with the Fire Stick too, yeah, yeah. Um, now you can also cast the, you can cast your own photos and your own videos that you might've taken with your smartphone uh, to the TV as well. And many of these devices now come with a remote as well. And some of the streaming devices, some of the big ones include Chromecast. That's what we have. That is a Google product. Uh, and it works right now with a fairly large number of uh, different platforms. Um, we can cast prime video uh, movies and TV shows to our Chromecast device. We can also do um, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, uh, any of those. Uh, the one, the only one we can't do is Apple TV. Uh, Roku streaming stick, that is, I think, even more uh, flexible. I don't know that it works with Apple TV's content but it works with quite a few others. And lot, Roku was one of the first out of the gate with a product like this. Um, and then there is the Amazon Fire Stick and they kind of like to keep everything within their own little uh, walled garden, I think is the industry lingo. Um, so they try to keep you all on Amazon products. And of course, Apple does the same thing. Uh, but here, these cost right now, they're averaging about $50. And then there is Apple TV. It's now called Apple TV 4K. So if you have a TV that is capable of 4K uh, video, 4K is like high definition on steroids. Um, it's, uh, and if you go into Best Buy, you'll see they're selling a lot of 4K TVs now. Um, but it's going to look more like this and it costs about 180 bucks. So yeah, it's a lot more expensive and that's Apple. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, if you are, I, I think Apple users in general are paying more historically, that has been because Apple is, uh, it's the, their devices have been less likely to get hacked or get viruses. Uh, there are better privacy elements built in, but 